Hello and welcome back to the channel. So in this lecture, we are going to talk about software as a service in cloud computing, which is one of the service model of cloud computing. So in the previous lecture, we have seen all about what is platform as a service along with its benefit, drawbacks, as well as the characteristics and their different applications. So in this lecture, we are going to see how the software as a service works and how it differentiate as compared to the other service models. So without further ado, let's get into it. So if you are new to the channel, please hit subscribe and ring the notification bell to get the latest updates. So software as a service, also known as SSAS, allows to provide software applications as a service for end users. So unlike PAAS, you will only consume the application provided by your cloud provider. So it refers to the software that is deployed on a hosted service and it is accessible via the internet. So there are several applications of the SSAS that I have given here. So I have given the four examples of SSAS which are namely billing and invoicing system as well as the customer relationship management or a CRM applications as well as the help desk applications that you may have heard of and the human resource solution. So these are some of the common applications of the SSAS platform. So some of the SSAS applications are not customizable such as Microsoft Office, but the SSS provides the API which allows the developer for developing a customized applications according to the requirement. So now we will talk about the characteristic of software as a service. So here I have mentioned some characteristic of service model that we will see one by one. The first one is SSS makes the software available over the internet. So it means it is easily accessible. You just need the internet connectivity on your device and the software applications are maintained by the vendor. So you don't have to worry about storage, computing power, as well as the security. All the things will be managed by the cloud vendors. The next one is the license to the software may be subscription based or the usage based and it is built on the recurring basis. So it makes it a very cost effective option. So the next point is it is very cost effective since they do not require any maintenance to the end user site. So all the maintenance activities will be carried out by the cloud providers. The next one is they are available on demand and they can be scaled up or scaled down as per your requirement. So this is one of the advantages of the SSAS. The next one is they are automatically upgraded and updated. So you don't have to worry about the latest updates as the cloud vendors will take care just you need to pay some fees for opting for automatic updates on your applications. The next one is SSS offers shared data model. So therefore multiple users can share the single instance of the infrastructure. So it is not required to hard code the functionality of individual users. And the last one is all users run the same version of the software. So these are all the characteristic of software as a service model. So this is how the software as a service or we can say SSAS is different from the other service models. So here all the things will be managed by the vendors and you just consume the applications hosted by the cloud providers and you can access it over the internet. So here you can see in the PAS you have to manage the application as well as the data and all the other infrastructure is managed by the cloud vendors. But in case of SSAS, all the things including applications, data, OS, virtualization, storage and networking, all these things will be managed by the cloud vendors and will consume only the applications. So it makes it a very simple to use and maintain. But wait a minute, what will be the benefits of this approach? So let's talk about it one by one. So using SSAS has proved to be the beneficial in terms of scalability, efficiency and performance. So some of the benefits that I have listed here. The first one is modest software tools. So the SSAS applications deployment requires a little or no client side software installation, which results in some benefits such as no requirements of complex software packages, as well as little or no risk of configuration and the low distribution cost. The next benefit is efficient use of software licenses. So as you know, the customer can have single license for multiple computers 
running at different locations which reduces the licensing cost so also there is no requirement for license servers because the software runs in the provider's infrastructure so you don't need to worry about that the next advantage is centralized management and data so the cloud provider stores the data centrally however the cloud providers may store data in a decentralized manner for the sake of redundancy and the reliability of the data the next benefit is platform responsibility is managed by the providers so all the platform responsibility such as backups system maintenance security as well as uh, hardware refresh power management etc so all these tasks are performed by the cloud providers so the customer does not need to bother about them so it will save your time and it also doesn't require any expertise on that subject and the last benefit is multi tenant solution so multi tenant solution allows multiple users to share the single instance of different resources in the virtual isolation so customer can customize the application without affecting the core functionality which is a very huge benefit of ssas but there are several issues associated with ssas model that i have given here the first one is browser based risk so if the customer visits malicious website and the browser becomes affected then the subsequent access to ssas application might be compromise the customer's data so it will affect the security of the data that you have stored on the ssas application to avoid such risk the customer can use the multiple browsers and dedicate a specific browser to access ssas applications or can use the virtual desktop while accessing the ssas applications the next drawback is network dependence so the ssas applications can be delivered only when the network is continually available and the network should also be a reliable but the network reliability cannot be guaranteed either by the cloud provider or by the customer so it can be a drawback of ssas model and the last issue is lack of portability between ssas clouds so transferring the workloads from one ssas cloud to another is not so easy because of the workflow business logic user interface and the support script can be provider specific so these were all the drawbacks of a ssas approach and now we will see some introductory part of open ssas and soa so what do you mean by that so the open ssas uses those ssas applications which are developed using the open source programming language so this ssas applications can run on any open source os and databases so it has some benefits such as no license are required as it is open source also it has the low deployment cost it has the less vendor lock in as well as it is more portable and robust solution so this diagram that i have given here shows the sss implementation based on the soa so this is just an introductory part of a open sss so if you want to know more we are going to cover this topic in our further lectures where we will see the open sss in detail so in this lecture we have seen what is software as a service model and how it is different from the other cloud service models as well as we have seen the characteristic benefits and drawbacks of the ssas as well as we have seen some introductory part of a open ssas approach so that's it if you like this lecture please subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell to get the latest updates and don't forget to follow us on our social media that i have linked in the description below thanks for watching